we also could have a bunch of charges all together moving on a wire. We would call that current, for example. So we've been to, up until this point, we talk about single charges. Well, this could also apply to a group of charges, which would be current. And the magnetic force would then be equal to the current times the length of the wire times the magnetic field times the sine of the angle. So notice this is very much like QVB sine theta, the charge times the velocity times the magnetic field times the sine of theta. Instead, we're talking about a group of charges, so we have current. So current times the length of the wire times the magnetic field times the sine of the angle. So again, we have current, length of the wire. Theta is the angle between the direction of the current and the direction of the magnetic field. Just like uh, the current was the charges, it's the same thing. The charges and the current are moving in the same direction. And the right-hand rule works exactly the same for a group of charges as in current. If this is the direction of the magnetic field and this is the direction of the current, please get out your right hand, figure out the direction of the force on this wire. This X means into or out of the board class? Into. Into the board. So the current is to the right, fingers curl into the board, the thumb points up, so the magnetic force would be up. In fact, under the right circumstances, you can actually levitate a wire by putting current through it in a magnetic field. 